I rise to make a short contribution to this bill. I won't restate its purpose or the background, which has been well and truly canvassed in this House, but I will speak to the amendments that Legalise Cannabis Victoria has negotiated. The bill before us today is fundamentally different to the bill that was first presented to this Parliament. The original framework proposed by the government was heavily criticised by stakeholders as it seemingly enabled the holders of privileged information, including lawyers, to be registered as human sources and potentially tasked to undertake information gathering on behalf of police. This would have been, in our view, entirely inconsistent with the very purpose of the bill. Under the amended bill, this cannot happen. We heard from stakeholders and we have worked constructively with the government. Following our negotiations, we are pleased to see an extensive set of government house amendments that fundamentally change the nature of the bill and mitigate stakeholder concerns. In relation to lawyers, these amendments change the Act to effectively mirror existing legal profession uniform conduct rules that allow a solicitor or a barrister to disclose information to police if they believe there is a serious and imminent threat to national security the health or safety of the public, the life of a person, or of serious physical harm to a person. This is the only type of information that may be provided by a solicitor or a barrister to police in breach of client confidentiality. The amended bill provides a strict framework for the disclosure of this information. The disclosure requires the registration of the solicitor or barrister. The registration can only occur via application to and approval from the Supreme Court of Victoria. The period of registration will be determined by the court with a legislated maximum of seven days. Under the amendments, the police cannot task a lawyer to do anything. The police cannot assign or give instructions to the solicitor or barrister to assign them with criminal investigations or gather criminal intelligence. This is now not the registration of a lawyer as a police informant, it is the registration of lawyers, a lawyer's contact with police in very limited circumstances and only where there is an imminent threat oversight by the Supreme Court of Victoria. And this means that a lawyer X can never, ever be repeated. The Royal Commission has also recommended that the Victorian Bar and the Law Council of Australia develop ethics guidance on these conflicts of interest scenarios. We understand that guidance should be to cease to act. Importantly, these amendments prevent a conflict from arising at law between the existing uniform conduct rules for legal practitioners and these proposed human source management laws. This is why this framework is preferable to the proposed by the opposition. To exclude lawyers from registration, to not record the, con contract, the contact between a lawyer and police is to risk the repeat of the very same conduct that, is th the very same conduct that this bill seeks to prevent. We cannot push lawyers back into the same grey area in which the Gobbo debacle occurred. Additionally, amendments now provide significant improvements to the bill as applied to children. Under the amended bill, the definition of a child is moved from under 14 to under 18. Any child must have legal representation and or an independent third party present in any discussions with police. Children may not be tasked by police. Oversight of the management of human sources as a whole will continue to be undertaken by the Public Interest Monitor and IBAC. For a lawyer's, contract, for, for a lawyer's contact with police to now be overseen by the Supreme Court and limit the two circumstances where the lawyer is proactively divulging information because they believe there is an imminent threat to life or serious physical harm is the right balance and mirrors existing professional rules. At Legalise Cannabis Victoria, we are proud of the progress we have made in securing these important changes. We can now support the amended bill in this context. This is important legislation. It acts on the advice of the Royal Commission. Victoria now leads the country in introducing legislation to guide and oversight police use of human sources. Thank you. <laughs>